How's it going everybody? Welcome back. So you've heard about VPNs, but you're not exactly sure what they are and what they do. So today that's exactly what I'm going to address, and I'll also talk a little bit about the best three VPNs that you can get, depending on what you're looking for. Okay, so let's start with what VPNs are. Now a VPN is short for Virtual Private Network. It's basically a tool that helps you keep your online activities private by acting like a secret tunnel on the internet. When you use a VPN, it takes your internet data and scrambles it up, making it pretty hard for others to understand what you're doing, like your ISP or government. They will not be able to know what you're doing online as a result of being connected to the VPN. Imagine you're sending a postcard through the mail, and anyone who handles that postcard can see what's written on it. But if you put that postcard in a locked box, only you and the person with the key can see the message. And that is what a VPN does for your internet data. The VPN also makes it seem like you're using the internet from somewhere else. Let's say you're in New York and you connect to a VPN server in New Jersey, for example. To websites, it looks like you're browsing from New Jersey, not New York. And this helps you stay private online. It can also help you see websites or watch videos that are not available in your home country. But I would recommend that everything you do online should not violate any of your local laws. So make sure that everything you're doing online aligns with your local laws. So in short, a VPN is a tool that scrambles up your internet data. It encrypts it and keeps it private, as well as makes it look like you're browsing the internet from a different place. So this is your device, and this is the internet. And in between the internet service provider and the internet, there's the VPN connection. Without the VPN, your device is connected to the internet service provider. And so the internet service provider will know what you're doing online. And whatever you do on the internet can be linked back to your IP address. Whereas when you're using a VPN, your IP address will be completely hidden, and the IP address that you'll be using is going to be the IP address that belongs to the VPN client. So if I go to whatismyipaddress.com here, or whatever IP finder you want to use, you'll notice that it'll say I'm in New Jersey, and not my real location. So now that you know what a VPN does, it really depends on what you're looking for as far as which VPN to get. Now I've tested over a couple dozen VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best overall. I'm not going to talk too much about them, but you'll find everything you need in the description down below, whether you're looking for a special discount or a full review to learn a little bit more about them. To be brief, ExpressVPN is going to be the best choice if you're looking for something that is incredibly easy to use and very intuitive. As you can tell, there's an on and off button. You've got plenty of servers and countries, and it's basically very reliable, consistent, and made to be as easy to use as possible. And it just gets the job done with top security and performance. Now, if you're looking for a very similar performance and security, you can go with NordVPN, except that NordVPN gives you a little more features. So it's a very well-rounded VPN for the price. It gives you a whole bunch of bonus features and they can be very useful. Now, Surfshark is going to be the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without necessarily sacrificing any of the security features. Although it is a little slower than NordVPN and ExpressVPN. And that's because if you didn't know, all the encryption that takes place when you're using a VPN does take some time. So this whole exchange is going to slow your connection down a little bit. But a good VPN will make sure that decrease in speed will be next to negligible. And that's why I also choose Express, Nord, and Surfshark. Surfshark may be a little slower than Nord and Express, but it's still very fast in its own regard. Now, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about these VPNs, again, you'll find reviews down below, as well as links to pricing and discounts if you'd like to save a little more money. Either way, they're all covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee in case you're not satisfied for whatever reason. And that'll be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the links in the description to grab yourself the best discounts possible. Like and subscribe to see more of these videos. And let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.